Hey there, it's Melanie back with another video doing another product showcase on a new CD that I just got in my collection straight from pre-order. This is the new Skeletal Remains album, Fragments of the Ageless. Uh, yeah, so just came in um, yesterday, came out on March 8th, so a couple days ago. Uh, Century Media Records, again, <laughs> this is going to be like very Century Media heavy release. Uh, these next several videos because I'm getting a lot of stuff in from them. So, uh, Skeletal Remains is a band out of California, a death metal band. This is their fifth full length album. Album cover is done by Dan Seagrave. Awesome stuff. Um, I've already opened this. I was going to do an unboxing of it, but then I, I was too excited when I got it yesterday. I've been listening to this nonstop ever since it came out a couple days ago. Just absolutely love this album. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. So let's open it up. It is a trifold digipack with incredible artwork it just looks awesome uh this digi pack is really nice quality as everybody knows i've said several times in other videos i'm not a fan of digi packs at all uh but yeah so here's the cd and then behind the cd is more artwork i stuck the hype sticker there um so there you go that's just a hype sticker and then of course in here is a booklet that you can slide out in this booklet is more awesome artwork and the lyrics for every song. So I'll just show it really quickly. So you know what you're getting, look at that centerfold. That's so awesome. Man, I absolutely love the artwork for this and it goes really, really well with the album, the overall theme. So back in 2020, uh, they released the Entomb of Chaos, which I actually have right here. This album was phenomenal. I was a huge fan of this album. This is essentially what really got me into Skeletal Remains. I had heard their previous albums, Beyond the Flesh and Contempt of Misery, uh, but that album back there was the one that really got me into them. So since then, I've been a huge fan of them. They do have a couple of new members. I think it's a new drummer, a new bassist. Uh, and these guys are a very hardworking band. They have toured a lot the last couple of years, like a ton. So one thing I wanted to call out there is uh, a different um the additional inside and gateful artwork is by juan castellano and then obviously dan seagrave did the artwork so uh awesome 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 album so my thoughts on the album uh yeah so immediately the one thing that i noticed okay get in there jesus uh the, immediately the one thing i noticed about this album when i first listened to it was uh the vocals were different the last couple of albums reminded me heavily of death, a little bit of death worship there, um, a little bit more raspier, almost thrashier style of vocals. These vocals are very thicker and lower, and they sound very similar uh, to a mix of Morbid Angel, Monstrosity, Cannibal Corpse, uh, Deicide. That's pretty much what this album sounds like. It's 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 basically. A Florida death metal uh, album like through and through beginning to end um, and it's phenomenal I think this is probably my favorite album by net right now in their discography for that reason uh, it is just a love letter it pays homage to all of the amazing Floridian death metal bands from the 90s if you're a 90s death metal fan you're gonna absolutely love this album their last albums were very very good like I said they reminded me of death it had a lot of the death worship involved in there more of the thrasher sounding style of vocals and this one is just a little bit chunkier a little bit more dissonant slightly a little bit heavier a little bit girthier lower registers in terms of the vocal styles i really really like where he's going with those vocals on this it's just it's a progression so they went and they did something slightly different uh the guitars are phenomenal the drumming is spectacular from jesus christ i don't know how that guy's not <laughs> exhausted after listening to this very very beefy bass as well just incredible album i am ex just so ecstatic for this um and i think what i was i uh, wanted to make sure one thing here i feel like did they say something on here about the drumming well, it looks like the the recording has been in several in different uh, studios. Maybe that was what I noticed, that they did the drums at one studio and then they did the vocals 
at a different studio. So it looks like this was a pretty, oh, that's what it was. It was Mixed and Master by Dan Swano. That's what I wanted to call out. <laughs> I knew I saw that somewhere and I was wanted to just verify that for sure. But Pierce, the drummer is incredible. I absolutely love Chris's vocal style in here. And then Brian and uh, Mike just slay. This album is so good. They, they did so well with it. They're just such a tight knit uh, band and just, it sounds awesome. They're very, 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 very technical in, in the fact that you can tell they're meticulous with how they write their music and their guitar riffs. And they, they just, they pour their heart out on this album. So it is a very good album. Uh, I definitely think you should check it out. I feel like Skeletal Remains doesn't get um, the attention that they deserve. So check this out. Like I said, just came out of March 8th, Century Media Records. I'm happy with this Digipack. It's nice quality. I love the artwork on it. It looks phenomenal. And I think eventually I'll get the record. But for now, I'm happy with just the CD on pre-order. Uh, you can get it on Century Media's website and also on Amazon. It's definitely cheaper on Amazon, especially if you have Prime because you don't have to pay for the Century Media shipping. Uh, this in total uh, was 12 bucks for me. So amazing price for an amazing album. So that's all that I have today. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Thralls and Metal Guys also did a really phenomenal review of this um, album. They went a little bit more detailed into it, did more track by track analysis. This is just kind of a mini review, I guess you could say. So definitely check out their review too and shout out to them. Great channel as always. I will see you guys in the next one.